What's up, you guys? Avery here, and welcome to a very interesting OCG deck profile. Now, don't you dare click off. Don't worry, this is TCG legal. So, let's talk about it, because this is dope. So, if you remember from, God, probably a year ago now on the channel, we covered a Mystic Piper deck that I had seen on TCG Player that was playing a Dogmatica engine, some Chaos cards. Well, someone in the OCG took this, I guess, to the next level, and now we are seeing Mystic Piper Level 1 Zeus beat down the deck. So make sure that you smash the ever-living crap out of that subscribe button so we can get to 800 and eventually 1,000 subscribers. I really do appreciate all the support. It means the absolute world to me. Also, be sure to go check out my 27th place Eldritch branded teched out, decked out deck profile. I would really love to see some love and support on that channel. I know it's not counted as a top, Believe me, I got my butthole reamed by some trolls about that. But either way, I had a great time at the event. And a huge shout out to Prodigy Games for hosting that event. I promised them I would give them a shout out. Please go check out Prodigy Games. They are absolutely fantastic, such down-to-earth people. So with all that being said, let's dive into this. So first of all, there was no side deck. Um, I put in two Zeus here because Zeus is at one in the OCG. But you could very easily max out Zeus in this deck just to make it all that much better. So, uh, starting off, we have three Altergeist Melee Seek, solely because of the fact that it's a level one and it can attack directly, and then target a card the opponent controls and send it to the grave when it inflicts damage. We're playing three copies of Battle Fader because it's a level one, why not? It stops the battle phase. Cyber Dragon Nashter, because it's a level one and you can discard one of the monster to special summon it from your hand. The effect to resurrect a machine with 2100 attack and defense is obviously never going to come up. Also, it helps you to make Mega Fleet because its name is treated as Cyber Dragon while on the field or in the grave. We're also playing two copies of DD Crow three copies of Droll and Lockbird, and three copies of Effect Veiler. And if you notice, all of our hand traps are level one. So we draw into it, we can just reveal it off the Mystic Pipe or draw another card. We're playing three copies of Jester Confit. So uh, this was actually played, I remember back in like the 5Ds era in Monarchs, because it's just a free special summon extender. You can only control one, but you could special summon it from your hand in an attack position. And if summoned this way during your opponent's next end phase, you target a face-up monster your opponent controls, return both that target and this face-up card of the hand. That's never going to come up. That's from an age long gone. But it's just a special summon extender that you can bring out. You can normal summon Piper to tribute and get a draw. Or, you know, summon Treeborn Frog and make a rank 1. You know, a lot of different things that you can do. We're playing 3 King of Bayou because it lets you resurrect any level 1. Uh, when it's normal summon or foot face up, you target a level 1 monster in your grave, special summon it, but you banish it when the King of Bayou leaves the field. Then once per turn during the end phase, if it was normal summon or foot face up, it bounces to the hand like any other spirit. So the typical play with this, like with Mystic Piper back in the day, like the 5Ds era, um, you would summon King of Bayou, target the Mystic Piper, bring it out, tribute Mystic Piper to draw another card, and then it still goes to the grave, and then you just bounce the King of Bayou to your hand. Now that we're in an age where you have exceed summoning and links, you can summon the King of Bayou to get out of level 1 like Mystic Piper, just to make like a rank 1 exceed or a link 2, you know, anything like that. We're playing three copies of Rainbow Kribo. This is another attack negator. Um, when an opponent's monster declares an attack, you can target that attacking monster and equip this card from your hand to that monster. It can't attack. And when the opponent declares a direct attack while Rainbow Kribo's in the grave, you can special summon it, but banish it when it leaves the field. So it's just a chump blocker. Then we're playing two copies of Sage with Eyes of Blue. Literally, it normal summons to get a level one light tuner, so it just searches Valor. And then we're playing one copy of Tree Worn Frog and two copies of Smoke Mosquito. So during damage calculation, if you would take battle damage from an opponent's monster's attack, Quick effect, you could special summon this card from your hand, and if you do, the damage you take from that battle is cut in half. Also, end the battle phase after the damage step. Then you can target a face-up monster you control. This card's level becomes the same as that monster until the end of this turn. You can only use each effect once a turn. You don't really care about the level modification because everything is level 1 anyway. Um, so it's just an attack negator that you can beam out, then get out Treeborn, make a rank 1, you know, whatever. We're playing... Two copies of Ghost Trick Shot, three Where Art Thou, and one One for One. So Ghost Trick Shot, you special summon a Ghost Trick from your hand or grave. Then you can change a face down Ghost Trick monster you control to attack mode. You can banish it from your grave and then target a Ghost Trick Exceeds monster you control to attach a Ghost Trick card from your grave to that monster's material. You can only use it effect once per turn. So you can like take Shot and equip it to Delahan and then make Mischief and then make Zeus and it gives it an extra material, which is pretty cool. For the extra deck, we're playing one Anima, one Lina, one Link Karibo, one Unicorn, one Transverser, one Dark, one Access Code, one Utopic Future, and then the Utopic uh, Draco Future, two Delahan, two Angel of Mischief, one Zeusy Boy, and one Mega Fleet Dragon. So right off the bat, if you want to make changes to this, you could easily take out like 
Geonator Traverser and like a Mischief and throw in two Zeus. Like I feel like this deck is just triple Zeus like all day, every day. Maybe even take out like a Delahan and a Mischief for three Zeus, but then I feel like that that kind of hurts the engine. Um, but this deck is really, really cool. Let's uh, let's do some randomization here a bit. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. So you've got the Where Art Thou to get you a Surge. You've got the Sage to get you to Valor. Um, and then you have Battle Fader. So I guess like your main end goal is going to be to like probably go second to establish like a Zeus for like an OTK or like Draco Future. Um, I haven't done any test hands with this, so I'm not going to try and bullshit you and say I know how this fucking deck works because I just straight up don't. I just know that Mystic Piper wants to normal summon itself, tribute it, draw a card, and if it's a level one, draw another card. Um, so if you were a fan of that Mystic Piper deck that I posted like a year ago, here you go. Because a lot of people in that profile were asking like, how would you adjust this deck? And like, I don't know because I found it on TCG Player and it's like, you know, I, I don't know anything about this deck other than what it's good for at that moment in time. So please let me know what kind of changes you make to this deck. I really feel that you got to get into more Zeus somehow, some way. Um, but this, this is cool. I mean, especially seeing Battle Fader in 2022 and, and just level one the deck. Like it's, it's not something you really see anymore. So guys, please, thank you so much for watching. Let me know what you think down in the comments below and I will see you in the next video.